Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Let's Drop a Miraculous Theory. Yes, yes, this is new. Okay, this theory is about Hawkmoth being Gabriel, Adrian's father. Okay, so this theory really started off sparking my head when I was watching the episode. And all this comes from episode 25 of the um, French version and the Korean dub, since the English is... This is not on English yet. But I don't really mind. I like all the voice actors. I can flip back and forth and don't really complain about it because I don't see a difference. So I'd have to read. Only difference to me. <laughs> okay, this episode, in the episode in question, starts off with a de um detransformed hawk moth. The only thing you'll notice is the um silhouette is eerily the same one that would be given to um Gabriel if he had a silhouette. Because those cheekbones is just out there. You know, you can't forget about the hair bump he usually has. You can obviously see that in the cellar as well. I would not point this out to you because I never liked when theories pointed things out to me in pictures. Never liked it. I want to just pause and see it for myself, so I'm going to let you do that. But another thing that struck a quarter of me is the locket that Hawkmoth held in his hand in the beginning part of the episode. I saw the woman, I'm like, that woman looks like a female Adrian. You know why? I'm pretty sure that's Adrian's mother. That means Hawk Moth is Adrian's father. Okay, but another thing is, another cross up another reason why I believe this is because in the scene, after Adrian had a fight with his father and he's running to his room, he runs past his family portrait. Now family, the most important thing about the family portrait is his mother is in the picture. And you Go back to the locket in that picture, which you can really zoom out because you ruined a picture. The women in that look the same, exactly the same. I'm like, boom, Hawkmoth is Adrian's father. That's me. That's, that's confirmation for me that I was right. Now, since we got that away, and this is that's why I feel that Adrian's father is Hawkmoth. The only important thing is the motivation. Why is he doing this? Originally, you thought the motivation being Creep Kid could be that fact that maybe he owned the box and so he wants all the miraculous back in his box. But no, that episode proved me wrong. I was like, man, I'm wrong because it belongs to this guy. And of course, my reasoning theory, wrong. Which I didn't tell you guys, it would be me and Creep Kid in the kitchen randomly when we were eating or making food. No, here's motivation I now think is true. His motivation is to get back his wife so he can have a happy family again. Now, we don't know how to happen to his wife. She could be dead. She does have deaf hair. Um, or can easily gone. However, the thing says, if you get both miraculouses of Captain Nars and Ladybugs, you'll um, get ultimate power, godlike power, which means he can get his wife back if she's dead or just left. Boom, he has a happy family again. He's just a family man, trying to get a happy family again. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Let's, Let's Draw. This week's episode began a little bit differently. It was completely narrated by Corset, all on her own. Because there was a miraculous ladybug theory that had to be covered. Now just I wanted to cover. Yes. When you have no fans to appeal to on a channel, it means that it had to be covered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the person I'm coloring in is um Pop Ma. Yay. So this there is Hop Ma and I am coloring Hop Ma. This is um directly a scene from that episode twenty five. She didn't watch it because she's not gonna read it. It's not because I'm not gonna read it. It's more of like, we, okay, we live in a place, as you can tell by our speech and patterns, that we are in a place where they play the English dub of the show. And I'm like, why not just let it get to the part whenever the English dub gets to that part and then just watch it as it goes instead of skipping around to different episodes. I would not feel like inclined to wake up, well, not in the morning anymore, but wake up at that time and make sure to tune in and watch the episode if I just already watched it all online. So I'm like, why not just wait for it to come on TV? I don't care. I'm just going to wait for it. 
I haven't even finished Assassin's Classroom yet, and I have five more episodes left. I still have not finished it. <laughs> I'm really bad at watching things. Yes, she is. We still need to watch Young Justice. We need to start watching it again. We finished, like, season one, and I think we finished- yeah, we finished the first two seasons, but we did not watch the newest one. Yeah. So we're both bad at watching stuff. Um, no, just, just picture. Just Young Justice, man. Stuff. Young Justice. She just talked over me while well, I talked about the picture. He heard that. She was Fine. so mean. Fine. Hey, here goes a life hack for you guys out there. If you guys don't have a coaster and you don't want to seem like an animal, then how about you use your phone as a coaster? It works. A hundred percent in I, I agree with this. Just use it as a coaster. <laughs> okay, continue with what you're gonna say. Topic jar yet or no? No topic jar. No topic Still jar. Still frowning yet? at that. You're mis you're misusing your phone. I mean, it's not really a phone. It's an iPod, but I have a case on it, so I'm using it like a coaster because I don't want to put this cu this like hot cup of liquids down straight on a computer desk. So. I'm not gonna be an animal. I'm gonna be civilized and use my iPod as a coaster. This is my second picture I've done with no lines, just color. It's fun. Time mm. consuming? Yeah, that too. What's fun to do? Do color like that? Just like sketch to color, no lines, no inking. No inking. Well, to me, it is. I'm gonna try this. I've never actually done something like this before. Like, I I have, but I haven't. But I've never done this, but I have used airbrush. And airbrushed over a sketch where I was only using black. So it's kind of like when you just keep shading something in the same color over and over and over again until it starts to sort of look nice. It's the closest thing I've ever done to this. Yeah. I think we're getting to the time for the topic jar. Yeah, I think I don't know want it after recording in the video so you see more of the color. <laughs> Probably. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna lengthen the video, just it's gonna have like one minute for a topic jar now. Do we have anything in this topic jar? Topic jar! Yes, there is stuff in here. And it's your turn to pick today. Come on, we have like one minute. One minute. For mm -hmm. topic jar. We're gonna speak as fast as possible with this one. Maybe you'd be talking with yourself then. Here. Oh, that is a really broad topic. Okay, then, uh, that is really terrible to talk about. Pick another topic. We need a full episode for that. <laughs> What's that one? Is it better to ask or look things up? We've talked about that before. Look it up first. If you can't find an answer, then... <coughs> ask someone. OCs. Ask someone. OCs? Yeah, they're your original characters. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. They're original I'm characters. I'm back in the jar, and this we pull out probably another day. Yeah, because we're trying to, like, mad dash lightning round here. It doesn't matter. This just <laughs> oh, <laughs> fine. Matter. Well, you guys heard what we, we the think on certain topics and the theory. Now enjoy the zen atmosphere. Yep. And the ding. And the other ding. I don't know. Can I hear the dings? I think they can. Hmm. Tell us, can you guys hear the dings? We did not have to go that fast in our lightning round. We could have continued speaking. Yeah. Well, we could talk more about OCs if you'd wish, or we could speak of the picture that is before us. The picture that is before you. Kiss it. But as we sit here and look at this picture, let us channel all of our inner zen pools. <sighs> zen pool. The pool's not in this picture. If you do not understand the zen pool, then you do not deserve to understand. Okay, now you have to draw a pull. You have to draw a pull now. Sure, I'll do it. And I'll introduce the episode in Spanish. Two years of Spanish, man. I'm trying to... Nope, three. Two years of Spanish. Tres años. But I'm trying to decide, should it be... Should I translate the title too? So instead of like, instead of let's, would I still say let's draw or would I be like, debujamos? I don't know. Like that would be the episode, that would be the title of it. Yeah, we could just call it debujamos and then put the title Zenpool yeah. for next week. 
<laughs> also, um, Ahmoth is wearing a lot of purple. Mm -hmm. It is um, very, is so adorably pink. Yep. Bye! Well, thank you for watching this week's episode of Let's Draw. And remember, be subscribing. We all want to be subscribing. We all know that you want to be a subscriber, or else I'll send Ahmoth Sakuma on you. What?